uh, they were telling me how bad it is to work for another option. I'm going to get them in trouble. No. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it poured all night and all morning. So it is like, I don't know, 10 30, 11 o'clock. It doesn't af didn't affect the paint and the stain because uh, it was pretty bone dry by the time we went to bed last night. So so no staining today because that wood is wet. If you try to stain that, it will just all start coming up. And this morning we were woken up by a woodpecker. Check that out. We figure it's a uh, high-tech alien style of woodpecker because uh, he's using the satellite dish to send signals. He's not obviously doing it for food or anything, but uh, it's, it was what was even cooler is he was on there banging on that one and there must have been one over a couple cottages over banging on some other metal and uh, they were communicating back and forth through satellite dishes. <laughs> which is pretty funny. We had to get all these bins here, put them into that metal shed over there, and just tidy this area up. We got, uh, I think, four more big tins to do the rest of the roof, which I can't do until it's uh, better weather again. But uh, yeah, this cottage is looking really nice. You guys did a great job on the mulch. Looks nice. All right, let's get to work. It is now 10 after two. So I'm thinking about staying until tomorrow. And uh, I'm supposed to go home like in the next hour. I have a couple things I need to do tomorrow, but I can phone and postpone one of them. But I uh, just wanted to show you, got the boats in. We uh, power wash the boats and then we put the wave runner I guess it's a hoist that keeps the wave runner out we have an old wave runner it doesn't work anymore so we use the hoist for the boat this is like almost black on the bottom but we power wash that that's all done power wash the deck just a little bit not too much you don't get too carried away then you have to do the whole thing it doesn't need to be power washed so that's the the hoist you just crank it and then the whole thing lifts the boat right out of the water but you just winch it back and the whole thing lowers into the water easy easy access to clean it out and uh, load all your stuff in it while it's up high and that was pretty much it oh look at that view people <gasps> sweet right now I'm gonna zip into town and do a food review for tomorrow and uh, there's a brand new Tim Hortons in town. I think it's the first one they've ever had in Port Carling. So we're going to zip over there and do that. Mom's garden looks amazing. Very nice. Look at that garden. Sweet. to the Tim Hortons in Port Carling. It's right by the food land, if you know the area. I'm just gonna get a couple shots of stuff. I forgot my wallet. Forgot the wallet! <laughs> Bar 
donut the first time you've ever had that? Or is it that was out last year, wasn't it? Today is officially my second day, so oh. I do not know. It's the okay. first oh, congratulations. yesterday, thank you. So we'll do the bar donut. The Nanaimo? Yes, please. And uh, you guys have a new latte thing, right? Are you kidding? No, I'm not. Oh, uh, no. I swear I didn't break it. So. Yeah, second day. <laughs> Gotta be you. Yeah, it's all my fault. So this is the coolest Tim Hortons ever. They're the only one that the manager knows that has a canoe as a light. So they have a, the fireplace on the inside. And in the winter time, they have one on the outside for the snowmobilers. So snowmobilers will come here, park their snowmobile, get their coffee, come out here and have an outdoor fireplace at Tim Hortons. Brilliant. Tim Hortons, congrats. That's awesome. Hey YouTubers, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken Domic product food review. Okay, right here. It smells like, it smells like, um, just a, a little hint of coconut, but it's, there's no coconut in it. It just smells like it, just a little bit. When I got like a little whiff of it. Here we go. Just finished the, uh, the food review and I had to like, totally deform this thing to fit on the dashboard it was kind of like uh, like that I have to like balance it and as I was doing it I kept honking the horn because I'd push down on this leg and then it would fall over and it was total pain I forgot to bring the suction cup thing next time I'll bring the suction cup thing all right let's uh, head over to the beer store grab some beers for tonight and uh, then we will head back to the cottage and start staining. Made it over to the liquor store. Open. So this location has the beer store and the liquor store in one because uh, it was cheaper to put them in one building. I just want to show you, this is like one of the coolest things about if you lived on Lake Muskoka or Lake Rosso. You could drive your boat over to the liquor store or now to Tim Hortons, pretty much. It's just around the corner. Check that out. Sweet. There's condos over there with boat houses or houseboats underneath. So you can park your boat, a garage. There's Turtle Jack. I did a review there not too long ago. Clear, super clear water. Got all the shops. My favorite shop. <laughs> all right, just hanging out in the Muskoka store and I met these young ladies who were just talking about all the new stuff that's in the store. What's your name? Heather. Heather. Sarah. Sarah. I'm Elizabeth. Elizabeth. And uh, they were telling me how bad it is to work for no, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> Never. I'm going to get them in trouble. No. <laughs> Never. But uh, I was just uh, ranting and raving about, or ranting about the fact that they stopped selling my favorite hoodie, which is the green one. But they still sell it for the ladies. Still yes. for the ladies. Right? Brand new. And it's a pull pullover hoodie yes, or a zipper it's, hoodie? They're a, it's our Sherpa hoodie. Oh, right. There it is. All uh, new Sherpa. So a lot of the hoods in our sweaters. So it's brand new style. New so color. Cozy. Yes. Yeah. And, and you told us about new glasses. Yes, we have some brand new, well, the restyled mugs. Restyled as well mugs. As our new beer can glass. The and beer can glass, right? The classic yes. pint glass. So I got a bunch of those. I need to get one of those eventually. <laughs> and uh, we've got the new beer or the can style glasses, which oh, is the cool. Beer can glass. And I don't recognize that sock. Those two socks are new. Nope. They've no. Been, uh, they've been here for as long as I've been here at the oh. very least. I don't know my product yet, <laughs> but you got the teddies. Yes, those, those are, those are brand, brand new. See, That's I noticed new, something, Mark, yeah, Brave, Kevin. That's our new Brave Bear. What's a Brave Bear? So our Brave Bear. As oh, well Brave as Bear. Brave got Bear, it. yes. That's as amazing. well as our toothpick bears. Um, there are Sick Kids teddies with 100% of the proceeds from the sale of the teddies going to Sick Kids. They're all twenty dollars, and again, a hundred percent goes to sick kids. Wow! So it's the socks and the bear now, the or socks, is it just yeah. the bear now? Nope, our socks still and the teddies. Excellent. Yeah, our brand new brave bear, brave bear. We brought him in yesterday. Yesterday, Super that's how new it is, people. Yeah. Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks, all to sick kids. Very cool. Yeah. So I know what to buy. 
soon. Yeah, absolutely. A whole bunch of bears. Yeah, bears. Bears from Bearware. Well, thanks for showing me around, ladies. Of course. Thanks for coming in. No problem. Bye, girls. Bye. All right. So that was kind of fun. And now over to the beer store, and then head back and do some work. This is the fun part about being up here. A lot of you guys think that the cottage is all work, but it's not all work. You have to do work at the cottage, but once the work is done, then you can sit back and relax and enjoy, reap the benefits of the things you've just done. <laughs> We've got them. So it's 12, 12.95 for the Canadian. These are our, the stubbies. Oh my goodness, that is so cool. I'm buying it. That's all I need. Thanks. All right, how are you doing today? Pretty well. I, I don't know where it is. It's underneath. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they like to trick you every now and then. Jeez. Bye. Bye now. All right, got my stubbies. It is now 5.30, back at the cottage. Mom and I just sat and and talked for a little bit. Now I just gotta get this ready for, I think I'm gonna be putting my paint there. We're gonna roll like this half of the deck all the way across, right? And uh, then do the other half tomorrow before we leave. So right now, get that done, let's get the paint. All done. Just went and checked the time. It took me 40 minutes to do 50 feet of deck. And I guess it's probably about 10 feet and I'm 50 feet deep or long. So now I was wait for this to dry and then put all the furniture over here later on tonight or tomorrow morning and then do this other half. Obviously we know how long it takes. Just finished barbecuing up some chicken for dinner with mom. But I'd enjoy my Molson Canadian. I'll use the steam whistle opener. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Ah, want a beer, Mom? No, thank you. She's so polite. All right. Let me ask her to see that barbecuing job I did. Looks oh, yeah. Good. Looks good. Yummy. And those french fries are really green. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I'm so glad you, you had time to stop by and say hi and watch me stay in the deck and, and meet people in, in Port Carling. I gotta change on my bathing suit before I forget about that. All right, so you guys have a good evening. And once again, thanks for all your support. See you tomorrow. <laughs>